I was looking for a nice control project I could do at home when I stumbled across this site and it gave me a nice idea to build a control system to maintain the pendulum angle. All right, and this is what I built. You can see here a LiPo battery that's 11.1 volts, an Arduino Omega, a breadboard, a potentiometer that's one kilo ohm, a DC motor, a propeller, and the pendulum itself that I built. This is Arduino circuit. There are some electronic parts that I already mentioned, like the battery, motor, and potentiometer. But so there are some small electronic parts that I'll get to now. So I put the resistor here to protect the Arduino from any high current from high currents from the motor, just in case the transistor short circuits. Uh, I put the transistor there to uh, act as a relay. So the Arduino gives it a single a signal to open up the valve, so to speak, so the battery can give more juice to the motor. And I put uh, capacitors on all the electron electronic devices, uh, parts, just to smooth everything out. And also I have a diode here just to prevent any back EMF from the motor. Uh, and that's about it. So I finished setting up all my mechanical and electrical gear, and now I want to get to my physical modeling. So because my system is pretty simple, and I know all the basic physical principles behind it, uh, I decided to go for the first principle method, but that means I need to find out all the important parameters. So as you can see here, I have my motor parameters and my system parameters, being the parameters of the pendulum. For the motor parameters, I didn't get all of the important parameters I needed from the data sheet, so I had to either measure some of them, for example, the resistance with the multimeter, or estimate them and through trial and error get a pretty good result. And as for the system, the pendulum itself, I could just measure the parameters, so I think I got pretty good results. So this is the block diagram I built for my simulation. You can see the transfer functions here, the DC motor, speed to thrust is the propeller, and thrust to angle is the pendulum itself. After doing a root locus analysis, to see how the system behaves, I decided to go for a PID controller. Uh, I'm gonna use this simulation to get a quicker initial guess of my PID parameters instead of running it in my real system, which takes a lot longer. Uh, so I used this simulation to get an initial guess for my PID controller in my real system. So this is the block diagram for the final system. Uh, I have an input pin here, uh, which I'm subtracting from it 650, just for calibration's sake. And uh, my output pin here is pin 9, a PWM. And this constant here, V to PWM, is just to fit my uh, maximum voltage to my maximum, uh, to the maximum input the PWM can receive. So it's 0 to 255. That's the 100%. And the rest of this, I think, is pretty much self-explanatory. So in my initial iterations of the PID parameters, uh, my system was oscillating pretty badly, as you can see here. So I tuned the parameters until I was happy with the results. I'll leave links in the description for sites that I mentioned, and for any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.